I welcome you to uh, the hallowed ground of Cameron Indoor Stadium. I urge you during the course of the dinner to play around a little bit, and in later life, you can say you played in Cameron Indoor Stadium. <laughs> it doesn't always look exactly like this, but you had probably already guessed that. I just want to say it was a wonderful day. I talked early this morning about universities as a place that have a capacity to gather communities of intelligent people, and if anybody had had any skepticism about what I meant, by the end of the day they would have known to perfection what I meant, because what a great day of talking and thinking and mental provocation, and I just want to begin not only by thanking you all for coming, but by thanking most particularly everyone who spoke in any of the plenaries or any of the panels. It was extraordinary from beginning to end. And I won't keep you from your fascinating martinis too long, but I would just say this. Uh, a lot of today turned on the play between the word problem and the word solution. And I found myself at the end of the day thinking about this word problem and thinking, as you know, there are two ways one can respond to a problem. First is by an attitude of passivity in which the problem, bad enough to begin with, be, uh, becomes compounded by one's own sense of impotence in the face of it, uh, which gives one a mounting sense of helplessness, a mounting sense of hopelessness, until finally the problem is so exaggerated by one's own passive engagement with it that it's just all too hard and all too hopeless. Then there'd be another way to engage a problem, which is to say one would engage with it. One would try to figure out some way one could take one's powers and abilities and bring them into contact or bring them to bear with it. This would not make the problem any easier. If anything, it might give one a clearer sense of the difficulty of the problem or even the intractability of the problem. Nevertheless, it would also give you some sense of your own power, your power to put your intelligence to work trying to understand or analyze the problem your ability to put your uh, gift as a language-bearing species to work trying to find words to convey that understanding to other people, your, your ability to gather together communities of people engaged in conversation or exchange of understanding about such ideas, and then, as always happens when people begin to pool their mental resources, there'd be a sense of possibility, not necessarily the possibility of solving the problem, but the possibility of doing something about it, whereas before all there was was the spectacle of doing nothing about it or being completely at its mercy. I just want to say, we had a taste of this phenomenon today. It seemed to me that was the meaning of today. Today was all about problems. No one was here for any other reason than the existence of problems we all take seriously and we all know we all face. But in the face of that, we saw what it means to activate one's intelligence, to activate one's ability to teach and listen, to activate the ability to gather communities together, and especially communities of people who don't agree with each other, but have the ability to, each of whom has some part of the puzzle, some, some piece of the solution, uh, and the, the possibility of being to, able to exchange those things. In my mind, this is, over time, what the Nicholas Institute will excel at, these gifts of community building, communities of understanding, communities of problem solving, communities of pro uh, possibility creation, if you want to call it that. Uh, but the thing is, that's all ahead of us. But it's not all ahead of us now, because we already had one day of the real thing, if you know what I mean. So I want to thank you, not only for helping us launch this institute, I want to thank you for helping us realize and remember what this institute means and how it's actually going to work. So anyway, I thank you very much. Eat your martini, and you will hear me again later. Bye.